Hi friends, welcome to another video. Today I'll be going through my comic book collection and some of my favorite comics. I do have a bunch of different ones that I think is pretty cool. Stuff like this. Um, let's get into the video and go through some of my favorite comics. Uh, let's start off with one of my favorites, uh, Headlopper from Andrew McLean. The Headlopper Norgal and the nagging severed head of Agatha Blue Witch arrive on the Isle of Barra to find it overrun with beasts, minions of the Sorcerer of the Black Bog. This comic, uh, really love the style, a lot of Hellboy influence, um, but still it's got a really cool take on um, his characters and his movement and his design. Just a real fan of the story. Then Glitch from Sarah Grayley. Izzy has an incredible secret, she can enter the world of her new video game. She meets Ray, a robot who says Izzy is destined to save the dungeon city from the big boss. I really like her slice of life comics, so I decided to check out this comic when I did a, a batch order or a bulk order overseas when somebody was visiting uh, the UK, one of my friends. I like the story, the character design is really well done. It's a very fun and unique story. I did like it, delves into her type of humor and also the the colors really uh, bright and colorful colors then one of the local guys in south africa zapir very famous political cartoonist here yeah i really like his style it's very fast and he, he does uh, impressions or caricatures really well and also he's, he keeps up to date with the political issues in the country and i actually don't really read the news i just see what he draws and then i know what's going on <laughs> Yeah, definitely go check it out. The links will be in the description. Then uh, this one, Five Wolves. Una Lee, the clumsiest student at the Sand Dancer Academy, is a fighter with a destiny bigger than she could ever imagine. A boy from the poorest slums, Anzu has a surprising gift and a knack for getting out of sticky situations. Star athlete Jax Amboy is beloved by an entire galaxy, but what good is that when he has no real friends? When a devastating attack forces these three kids to team up on an epic quest, it will take not one, not two, but five worlds to contain all the magic and adventure. actually found out about this book because Boyos and I have one of his puzzles that he did through the Magic Puzzle Company. Also linked to that in the description. And um, I really like his, his style. This is a really cool story. I really like the story. Lots of mystery and intrigue and really strong characters. Also really dynamic paneling. A very strong, I would say, comic. Really well done. I really like this. All right. Then, Skyheart. It's about an inexperienced delivery boy named Wade who sets out on an epic journey to find the fabled star seed, a magic relic with phenomenal power trapped inside it. This ancient artifact could be the key to saving Earth from imploding in on itself, but Wake wants to use it to save his mother's life. I only got this book, no, I got it a while ago, and I um, really like it. Also, you know, he is a really good comic artist, and the story is also really well done. I would have liked to see more, um, or actually a thicker comic, because the story feels like it needs more issues. I don't know if there's another issue out yet, but it's a really nice, interesting world, and there's a lot of stuff happening but I just wish there was more. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Skyheart from Jake Parker. Then um, Hilda. So Hilda, um, I've got the collection as well. And uh, I've also watched the series, so I'm a big fan. Um, and a really nice thing to see here is the, the confidence of the artist from issue one until, I think this is the last issue. You can really see how dynamic everything has become and how how you know how much confidence he's gained in his his drawings really really interesting to see from like for instance how hilda was drawn here and then how she was drawn in the first issue um you see look at the difference so i mean this is really good it was really a, sort of an eye opener for me just to realize that you also grow through your comics and um yeah, really, really good influence to just keep going. <laughs> also, I really like his paneling. It's really, you know, there's a lot of panels going on here. Even in the other, in the next issues, um, this one, for instance, oh, a lot of panels. So um, really interesting to see how he does this, how he 
communicates through all these all these amounts of panels it worked i mean he has a netflix series <laughs> all right then uh, rune world from derek laufman joined pogo and rex as they set out on a quest to hunt for valuable artifacts and magical weapons across the land along with plenty of not always faithful companions our heroes must battle dangerous tribes of toadies survive giant stone golems and stop a catastrophic world ending disaster all while evading a cunning gang of thieves as they race towards the biggest treasure of all time. I've been following him for a long time, always wanted one of his books, and I decided to jump into this sort of story that he wrote, and uh, it was really nice. I also really liked the story. Uh, there's humor, there's a lot of action, there's a really cool cast of characters, um, really dynamic panels, and his style, I really like his style. It's sort of fun, it, there's a lot of energy, there's confidence in his work, and I really like it. And I can't wait to see more, you know, I'd like to see another one of these. That's Rune World from Derek Laufen. Once again, I'll be putting all the links in the descriptions for you guys to check out. Then, another one, obviously, fan favorite is Scott Pilgrim. This is a just one you have to have in your collection. Really interesting to see the style and how it connects to the movie. Really interesting. And then also it was really cool to see the sketchbook in the back, how he developed the characters. Um, I always love this part, how they started out all these concept drawings. No, there's seven of them, so I need to grow my collection. <laughs> then this one um, is El Herpes, The Adventures of John Oziri. It's this guy. And He's a food inspector with a very strange and slightly disgusting superpower <laughs> and he's a dog Bobby. He has, I don't think the number four is out yet, but ordered these ones as well through somebody who went to visit Europe. Um, and yeah, this is also an Austrian, German, I guess. Really cool story um, about this health inspector who has the secret herpes power. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, a little bit gory, but uh, it's his style. If you've seen his art, there's uh, sometimes a lot of weird gore and stuff. Very talented artist. What I really like is yeah, obviously the sketchbook, but in the back he has this... Well, I think it's fake. <laughs> he has this fake um, supermarket that he invented with, with these designs of products that's not real but i mean it looks real really and then all these strange like um t's and c's and stuff i mean look at it 4w so obviously it's fake but it really i mean it really put a lot of effort into this so yeah i definitely give it a, a look then obviously hellboy from mike mcgnola you yeah, know it's a classic no way ever have i seen a comic use so much black and it still communicates the story really well. I mean, it, I, I really struggle to do that. I struggle, I don't have that black confidence to use blacks, but also, you know, I think he had a lot of, he has a lot of knowledge and he has a lot of reference that he uses, for instance, with the statues and the environments and stuff, um, clothing, that really helps to sell the the effect with a limited palette. I've done a bunch of studies of these pages and I've learned a lot, but still, I'm still not confident with my blacks. Really, really good story. Check it out. Okay, then this one, Ultra Lazer. I don't know how, this, how you pronounce that. It's French. The balance of Planet Topo is upset by the arrival of invaders from space. These buzzards ravage everything in their path. They are in search of a mysterious force, the Ultra Laser, intimately linked to the King of Beasts, a true living god, guarantor of balance of all things. Orb and Buko, the latter's appointed guardians, and servants organize the resistance. When I saw the design, I just had to have it in my collection. It's absolutely beautiful. Very good, very nice background references and stuff and maps and stuff like that. Backgrounds are really beautiful. But yeah, I really like the, I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. It's amazing. His use of colors and drawing backgrounds and stuff like that. It's textures. It's really, really nice. Really cool. Really cool. Check it out. <sighs> Then um, you probably know Adam Ellis, a slice of life comics. His style is really nice. It's also really funny. I mean, there's a lot of very good cartoons in here. His drawing style is really good and his, his coloring especially also is very nice. Check him out. All right, then while on the slice of life, Shane Comics or Altered, I've been following him on Webtoon as well for a while and he's really funny for me. I really like his stuff. Always when I get uh, guests, I show them this book and they have a nice laugh. Very nice. Go check him out go laugh. Then, yeah, I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, Dragon Ball Z fan, so I had to get one of these. 
just to see how Akira Toriyama did the whole thing. Um, I did read the, the original Dragon Ball, but on my phone a while ago. So I decided just to start here. If you haven't read this, it's really nice to see how he does action. I mean, it's a really good action comic, um, just to see like speed lines and smoke and effects and all that stuff. Very nice. I don't know, this guy drew a lot. I mean, look, just it's crazy, <laughs> crazy. All right, um, then this comic, um, Beautiful Darkness. Fairy tale where the darkness is only natural. The real world of beautiful darkness not only includes but embraces decay, calm, indifference, and animals who act like animals, just like life and death. This is a really interesting one, so really beautiful, but pretty dark, you know. <laughs> they lure you in with these beautiful watercolors and stuff, but um, yeah, it's pretty dark, but uh, comic. But yeah, I think there's interesting lessons um, in this as well, you know, don't just trust anyone and it's not what it seems. Yeah, check it out. Then um, this one, uh, Rumble. I really like the story. I'm really excited to get my hands on more comics and also the style is really, really fast paced and action and crazy story about this old fighter god who's now stuck in a scarecrow body and the modern day and yeah it's very crazy uh, just how he designs monsters and stuff i mean it's pretty intense um very dynamic really cool action scenes I really like this one comics really they can tell a cool story in like a few pages it's so cool that's why i love it all right then um, bird king Bianca, teenage apprentice to an infamous arcane blacksmith is forced to flee her homeland and seek out atlas a fabled land of light ruled by the clean god. She is joined by a mysterious guardian spirit known only as the Bird King. Together they will have to overcome dozens of enemies to reach Atlas and along the way unravel the mystery of the Bird King and their ancestral connection. From Daniel Friedman, a very interesting book. I've been following him also for a while. Very interesting style. Really cool story. Also like the main character is very cool. I'll definitely check it out. This one, um, Juniper May from Sarah So. Um, also a very cool story, very um, friendly style. But I like this as well because it's very, you know, now there's a bit, a bit less panels and it's more, feels like a little bit like a kid's book, the style, but this um, it's a really well done. A lot of effort put into, you know, all the mechanics and the, the perspectives and stuff like that. Also a very, very interesting story. So I'll be drawing a quick robot sketch in pixel art based on a design by Daniel Orzetti while I talk about a few things regarding comics. Comics are an incredible medium because they offer one of the fastest and most efficient ways to tell a story. You can write a book, create a movie, paint an amazing painting or even yell words at someone for hours on end. However, a comic combines all these elements into a short condensed form that is accessible to everyone. It's a powerful medium for communicating ideas, I think. I haven't officially published my own comic yet, but I've started many and am almost done with my first one. Those of you who know me are aware that I've struggled to find my art style and groove, which has caused me to wander aimlessly around for quite some time. But seeing all these indie comic creators turn their stories into tangible items that I can store on my shelf and draw inspiration from has filled me with a lot of hope and, uh, and wonder. I'm excited to get going on my own ideas now. If you have an idea or story to tell, I really suggest trying comics. Getting your idea onto paper and moving panels and characters around really makes your creative brain work over time to solve complex problems that you didn't know were there. And I believe that's the only way to really get things done is to put something on paper and to physically see something not on a screen. So yeah, that's my two cents on that.
All right, thanks so much for watching. That's it for this video. I will leave a link in the description for each one of the comics that I mentioned and talked about if you'd like to get a copy for yourself. See you in the next video. Bye.